In this video, I want to cover the squat. And by covering the squat, I mean I want to talk about all the biomechanics that are involved, but at least the most critical points. Now, there's a lot of questions going on about how deep you should squat, how far apart your feet should be, how much you should bend forward, how low the bar should go on your back. Well, I'm going to cover them all in this video. The first thing we're going to talk about is squat depth. But even before I'm going to get into squat depth, I want to talk about the squat in general and individual biomechanics. Now, just like anything else, there really is no one way to squat. You can ask a dozen experts on the squat, from scientists to power lifters to bodybuilders to crossfitters to Olympic lifters, and everyone will have a different opinion on the specific type of biomechanics. Then there's the specific biomechanics for you, individually for you. So even when you filter down all this information from all the experts out there, you still wanna focus on your own biomechanics. And I'm the perfect example. Now most of you know I used to race motocross. I had a nice accident that caused a compression fracture in my lumbar spine. My spine is messed up. I have one hip that's higher than the other. My biomechanics are really whacked. Didn't stop me from lifting weights. I just had to adjust my biomechanics. So if you watch me squat, you might say, it looks a little wonky. Well, it might look a little wonky, but it's not wonky for my biomechanics. And trust me, I've been doing this for over 40 years. All right, so let's get into squat depth. Now, I am a firm believer in full range of motion movements if you have the capability of going through a full range of motion. So, by that I mean if you can do a full deep squat, what we call ass to grass, which looks sort of like this, then go that low. You don't have to go that low if you can't even squat that low with just your body weight. As long as you go down to at least parallel and back up, you're pretty much going through a full range of motion. Now another thing I'll talk about briefly with how low you go is footwear. If you notice, I'm barefoot, but again, guys, I have a compression fracture of my lumbar spine, and I have decades of martial arts experience. Barefoot is more natural to me when I exercise. It's just, you know, due to the martial arts uh, and doing so much barefoot. So, having that compression fracture, which alters my biomechanics, I have a hip that's higher than the other one, I'm able to adjust my biomechanics better because my feet are directly in contact with the floor versus having shoes underneath me. So I just feel far more comfortable when I'm doing things like squats, cleans, deadlifts, when I'm barefoot. I'm not saying everyone should be lifting barefoot. Typically, a higher heel works well on squats for most people. You can check out my article on jimstepani.com about that, but it allows for more range of motion so that you can actually go lower. So, if you're someone who has a compromised range of motion and you're really not able to go all the way down into a full squat, I would recommend, instead of going barefoot like me, doing the opposite and either getting a pair of Olympic lifting shoes or even a pair of like Timberlands. If you've ever seen photos of guys squatting with Timberland boots on and wondering why the hell is he working on the boots, it's for that reason. There's a little heel lift with those boots. Like I said, it allows for greater depth in the squat. Now let's talk about foot position. As I mentioned, due to my biomechanics, when I stand, I go with about somewhere around a shoulder width uh, distance. I don't go too wide, but you can now. 
There's a lot of debate over what muscle groups you're hitting and sort of what we have always believed based on experience in the gym is that a closer stance hits more of the quads. Going with a wider stance tends to hit more glutes and more hamstrings. And it's basically due to the biomechanics. If you watch me when I come squat down with a closer stance, my body position, my torso is gonna to be more upright than when I come down into a deeper squat with the weight on my back. So, it's also gonna depend on bar position. That's another piece of the puzzle when it comes to squatting. Where do you wanna put the bar on your back? How wide your feet go are sort of related. If I do what we call a low bar squat where I keep the bar very low on my back and try to do the squat with a close stance, it's gonna be a problem. Why? Because with a low bar, to keep the bar on your back, you have to lean your torso more forward. What works best here then is a wide stance. That's going to allow you to really focus on sticking your ass back words when you come down and allow you to have the strength to power up. Now the other thing you want to focus on with your feet here, particularly in this wide stance low bar squat, is you want to push out on the feet. Push almost like you're trying to spread your feet out as you're coming up from the squat. You're pushing out on the feet, that's gonna to help to keep the knees from coming in. That's gonna to lead to a stronger squat. You can have more power through the hips as well and the glutes. So, a wider stance tends to be more comfortable for a low bar squat because like I said, you want that ass to come out and you want your shoulders to come more forward to keep the bar from falling off your back. Now a high bar squat, where the bar is gonna sit higher on the traps, you can have different biomechanics. So with a high bar squat, now I don't have to adjust my back to keep the bar on my traps because of where they're positioned. I don't have to bend so far forward. That means I have a more upright position with my torso. When I keep a more upright position, that means I have less extension at the back. That means I'm gonna use less glutes and hamstrings, more of the quads. So individual biomechanics aside, foot position and bar position are related. And so to recap, low bar on the back tends to work best with a wider stance. High bar, higher on the traps, tends to work better with a lower stance. So those are a few of my tips on performing squats. And remember, your own biomechanics matter. So take what others tell you with a grain of salt. Make sure that it's most comfortable for you. As always, guys, stay gym, army, smart.